The machine gun is an automatic weapon that was used in modern warfare from the 19th and 20th centuries. Some famous machine guns that arose over the course of time are the Maxim gun, known as the first fully automatic machine gun in the world, the Gatling gun, known as an early machine gun, as well as a forerunner of the modern electric motor-driven rotary cannon. Some of the best machine guns during World War II, known as the MG-34 and the MG-42, were feared by the Allied forces. These machine guns were revolutionary for their time, and played a huge role in the progression of warfare. Now, what if I was to tell you that there was an ancient machine gun that was invented in the 3rd century BC? The gun was the Polybolos! In Greek, its name means many thrower. Invented in Alexandria by Dionysius, the Polybolos was revolutionary for warfare. The Gatling gun, an example of an early machine gun, was the successor of the Polybolos, which was invented 2,000 years earlier. The Polybolos was the earliest chain drive that was seen in Western technology. The invention by Dionysius is one of the front runners for the first automatic weapon in history. However, the very first ever automatic weapon originated in China by the name of Chu Konu, which dated back to the 4th century. It was a repeating crossbow. However, this does not deter the amount of amazement this invention, the Polybolos, brings. The Polybolos had a magazine capable of containing a dozen bolts, and firing them with the use of a heavy crank had the capability of spewing out 11 bolts per minute. The bolts used for the Polybolos were steel-tipped projectiles loaded automatically. There were flat-linked chains on each side of the Polybolos, which ran over pentagonal prisms at each end of the chain's loop. It has been speculated that these prisms work as inverted gears. By having a soldier turn the windlass attached to the rear prism, bolts could be locked, loaded, and fired automatically. These projectiles were fed into the polybolos by a magazine that was attached to a rotating tray. This gave the polybolos a higher rate of fire than any other ancient artillery pieces. For instance, a modern reconstruction of this weapon was found to have a firing rate of at least three times that of a standard scorpion, another artillery piece used by the Roman army. The scorpion was known as the improvement of the catapult. However, the polybolos was used mainly against opposing military personnel as opposed to structures due to its accuracy. The downside of the polybolos was that there was a lack of spray and mass effect. An ancient writer who recorded to have complained that the polybolos was too accurate. The lack of dispersion in the shot pattern meant that the using this piece of equipment to kill human units was an overkill. Dionysius, the inventor of the weapon, was in service to Rhodesia, who at the time was very fond of artillery and its advancement. We know about Dionysius, the inventor of the Polybolos, thanks to a Greek engineer and writer about mechanics, who encountered and inspected a catapult made by him. This is recorded in Philo's Belo Poeca, a treatise on artillery, and our knowledge of the weapon comes primarily from this piece of writing.